Very nice, very nice. Three steps only. Don't step on the dog. Three steps only. Side to side only. Side to side. Side to side. Very good, very good, very good. Very nice. We don't cross, don't cross, go die, don't cross your legs, keep your legs. Very good, very good time. Now we are going to walk back and forth. All right, so here, when uh, we do that, we are going to coordinate. All right, so I'm gonna step forward with my right leg. He's gonna step back with that same leg. So we go here, two, three, and then go again. One, two, three. One, two, three, and back. All right, so we do something like that. Once I step back with his leg, I better pull this knee, so he's walking like that. Once I step back with my right leg, I pull the shoulder, so he's going right there. And three, and now it's his turn. Ooh, one, two, three, and then my turn. One, two, three. All right. So that's gonna be for one minute. Over. Very nice, very nice. So now look at that. Look what we're gonna do here. We are going to work a little bit how to break the grip. All right, so we are going to side to side again. It doesn't matter if I go to the right or to the left. But here I'm gonna go. One, two, three. So now I have my hand right here. I'm gonna place both hands together, break the grip, and go back with my hand on the collar. So I have two grips. He has his knee control, and I'm not gonna let him control here with his hand. And then we start over. Now it's his turn. Go one, two, three, break, and go back with the hand on the collar. All right, so go one, two, three. See my hands, one on top of the other, break the grip, break grip, get, get a grip by the shoulder. And then it's his turn. One, two, three, break. And then start, one, two, three, break. One, two, three, break. One, two, three, break. All right, every time you break, go back with the hand, controlling the shoulder. All right? Okay, so now we are going to add one more, one more step right here. There, we are going to walk three steps, one, two, three. Break the grip. So go back with the hand on the collar and then walk towards that arm and move to the other side, just like that. So now it's, it's I can do for one minute. Go one, two, three, break the grip. Go with the hand back. And then look, I'm going to go towards the arm and go again. One, two, three, break the grip. Step and move to the other side. One, two, three, three, and move. All right. So we are doing a 180 degree turn. Okay. One person only. time so now one more step we are almost getting that takedown all right so look so we are going to go three steps one 
two, three. You see that when I'm about to, to, when I want to break this grip right here, I cannot keep my hand on the shoulder, on his elbow. I move his hand here, hands together, break. Go back with my hand on the shoulder and move. But now, the reason that I want you guys to train that because as soon as I step right here, I don't want to just go right here and stop, all right? Actually, I want to go down to my knees, all right? So I'm going to step right here and I'm going to get his leg. So now, his foot is right between my knees, all right? So his hand is really important because I need to break his balance with this. And then my arm, my arm is around his leg. So that's the position right here. All right, so again, I go one, two, three, break, back right here, step, and look at my position right there. This is how I want you guys to finish. And then you stand up, and then you go. And then here, it doesn't matter if I go three steps this way or three steps that way. Break the grip and step. I go here, break the grip and step. All right, so I'm stepping towards the arm that I'm controlling. I control this arm, this is what I want. A nice single leg. My arm is just around his knee right here. And then this hand is important, controlling the, the show by, the, by the shoulder. If his hand is too low, that's gonna be hard. I need to, Head down right here. All right, so let's go. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more time. So let's see how we gonna do. Finish that takedown. All right, so I'm gonna walk three steps. One, two, three. Break that grip. One, go back with my hand. Go right there. So I have one hand. I have my head. On the inside right here, in front of him, not right here, okay? So that's important, my hand is by his knee. So one hand is right there, I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna go with his hand as low as I can, one. Once I get his hand right here, by his, on his chin, I'm going to go, let go of the knee and place my hands together. I'm going to push, push, push with my shoulder and I'm going to take him down. All right. So let's see that again. So I have the position right here. One, let go, two, and then I start to push, use my sh shoulder right here to push. Half legs together and I'm on top. All right. So instead to pull the foot, what I'm trying to do is use my upper body right here and put his legs together. All right. So if you do that in a fight, you don't need to do the, the three steps to the side. All right. So, but I really like to break the grip, go one, two, and finish the take down. This is kind of the speed that we do. And this is, uh, I really like this takedown because something wrong happens, you're not gonna lose, you're gonna be, not gonna be in a terrible position. So here again, three, one, two, three, boom. And then I'm here with two points. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys two minutes to try.